There's been a decent amount of budget rigging in the last few pieces of work that I've shared with you. I love trying to get clever with the camera, but it's the engineering behind it that often stumps me. For these shots though, rigged by me and my team on budget AF jobs without the proper kit and crew to do it, there's been four, maybe five or six key components. The first two major ones being K-clamps and magic arms. K-clamps, also known as super clamps, and magic arms have been the solution to so many on-set problems. Pissing it down in a seaside town in England and need something to hold your umbrella? K-clamps and magic arm. Need a hair light, but the frame's too wide to hide a junior boomin? K-clamps and magic arm. Want to rig hair clippers, a potato masher, or mixer in front of the lens? Oh no! K-clamps and a magic arm. In this instance, also used with some rods underneath the camera and bongo ties to try and keep it nice and tight to the lens. Didn't work quite as well with the masher, but the bare minimum was achieved. You can pick these up for an unsurprisingly, because it is the film industry, steep £30 over on Amazon. And one of these for an even more outrageously steep £125. They are worthwhile investments so that you'll have in your kit until your dying days. And if you do decide to purchase any, consider doing it via the links in the description below, because at no extra cost to yourself, I will receive a very small teeny weeny cut of that purchase, which will allow me to buy more K-clamps. For these shots, we needed some other kit. A cine saddle and some ratchet straps, but I think probably a feather pillow or two could have achieved the same effect. But I just happened to have a cine saddle in the van. There was an existing basket on the front of the quad bike that we utilised, which definitely made the producer feel more comfortable about the camera's safety. This shot, perhaps unsurprisingly, was just myself straddling the rider and leaning off of one of the sides with my arm stretched out, so no rigging necessary. Then, for these clips, the utmost care was taken, getting out my cheapest chips car mount and a bunch of safety chains. I bought this beauty from Camtree off of Amazon for what was definitely less than it's currently priced at now in early 2020, as it was going to cost the same amount to rent a similar kit from a rental company across London for the day to shoot these shots. My cinematographer friend Kieran O'Brien has definitely had more use out of this than myself, but still, it came back out to play this summer for that job with Nestle taking lots of care to thoroughly prep and clean the surfaces of the tractor we'd be sticking it to, and then safety chaining the body of the camera to the tractor itself, so that if the dreaded happened and the rig came loose in transit, the camera would still be okay. It didn't come loose though, because it's obviously designed not to. But still, whenever attempting anything like this, I find it slightly terrifying. We also used a bunch of ratchet straps to secure a 4x4 floppy over the brim of the cab to minimize direct sunlight creating glare off of the glass, so they came in multi-purpose on this shoot. Again, I'll put links to where you can purchase all these things in the description of the video. One more budget, but certainly not recommended use for the almighty K-clamp. Combined with the junior boom and safety chains, it made not only this shot, my recent spec, achievable without the correct ollie and accessories to do so, but also this terrifying shot in a shoot this summer for electronics brand Kenwood. It's sketchy, but it worked. Again, not recommended. But if you did, don't. But if then make sure to take every safety precaution possible, both for the camera, talent, and crew below. If anyone's got any great and inventive examples of their own rigging, then please do share in the comment section below and possibly even DM me a photo over on the gram because I really generally would love to know and learn from you as much as I'm trying to teach here. Check out this playlist here for more stuff on my kit list and make sure to subscribe for more semi-helpful tips and interesting insider industry knowledge.